Berkhamstead Castle is a Norman Motton Bailey castle, probably established by William the Conqueror's half-brother, Robert of Mortain. It was rebuilt in stone during the mid-12th century and became a ruin after 1495. Berkhamstead Castle was first built as a timber Motton Bailey Castle in the late 11th century. Kept in royal hands, it was occupied by key figures of the Middle Ages, such as Thomas Becket, Richard, Earl of Cornwall, and the Black Prince. Much of its stone was plundered during the 16th century. Berkhamstead Castle's strong defences were capable of withstanding a siege. Berkhamstead was designed as a fortress with impressive earthwork defences, a high mot and stone curtain wall. The water filled ditches prevented tunnelling under the wall and the mot could protect the bailey as well as defend attacks from the north. An important early Norman castle, Berkhamstead was strategically located on the route to London, 30 miles away. The first castle here was probably built around 1070 by William the Conqueror's half-brother, Robert of Mortain. It was in the classic Norman Mott Bailey form, with a conical mound and an oval bailey laid out below. The castle stayed in royal hands and in 1155 Thomas Becket was granted the honour of Berkhamstead by King Henry II. As Chancellor he was the King's right hand man and enjoyed great favour. He rebuilt the castle to befit his new status and house his large staff. Becket's building probably included the huge stone curtain wall. Later in 1164, during his quarrel with the King, Becket was accused of embezzlement. He was disgraced and the honour of Berkhamstead was taken from him. In 1216, the castle's defences were put to the test. Prince Louis of France had invaded England at the invitation of the English barons who were opposed to the king. In December of that year, Louis laid siege to Berkhamstead after taking Hartford Castle. Louis besieged the castle for two weeks, battering it with huge stones flung from siege weapons. The earthwork buttresses visible behind us against the outer ditch probably supported them, although it is still unclear which side built them. The castle eventually surrendered on the instructions of the new king. This area of the bailey probably housed the kitchen complex and brew house. The kitchens were usually set away from the hall in case of fire. Fresh water was critical to a besieged castle. This well also provided water for the buildings on the mot. There is another well in the bailey. Edward the Black Prince, 1330 to 1376, son and heir of Edward III, was given Berkhamstead as Duke of Cornwall. A favourite residence, the Prince repaired the castle buildings and timber palisade around the park to keep the deer from escaping. The Prince was created the first Duke of Cornwall in 1337. It has since remained the title for the eldest son of the Sovereign.
Richard, Earl of Cornwall, 1209 to 1272, built grand apartments at the castle and made it the administrative centre of his estates. Berkhamsted Castle was granted to Earl Richard in 1225 by his brother, King Henry III. Richard was believed to be the richest man in England. He was also a skilful diplomat and often involved in his brother's political affairs. He repaired and refurbished the castle and enlarged this western tower to create a luxurious palace complex. Part of the palace, believed to be the chapel and possibly the undercroft of a grand chamber, remain in front of us. Richard's son Edmund was born at the castle and two of his wives died here. Richard himself died at Berkhamsted in 1272. There's a big shit in there. There's a massive shit in there. I bet I bet a human's done that. <laughs> Seriously. Check this out. That viewers is a human shit, I'm convinced. Because if I was here and I was caught short, I'd go in there. That's a shit, isn't it? That's a human shit, isn't it? It is, come on. It's been there a while because it's turning black. It's got, well, actually, it's got flies on it still. That's a human shit. Dogs don't do that. That's human. And then there's like a, a vinyl glove down here as well. This is like Stone Chapel Part 2. We had old pants there and now we've got a human shit. It could be the same person. They travelled all the way from Kent to Hertfordshire to do a shit in a castle. Welcome to Hertfordshire, everyone. Welcome to Hertfordshire. <laughs>